Gang, I just wanted to do a really quick, if you guys want some more detail, I'll try and put together a, a more detailed, a more detailed look at this process. But uh, I wanted to show you the app that I'm going to be using for finding the cheapest flights anywhere in the world. And let me just run through, I, I haven't planned this, so um, I'm just going to pick a spot and, and travel from there. So say, say I'm leaving from say I'm in Huntsville, Alabama, and I need, I want to leave. I want to, I'm, it's time to go somewhere else. So I pop open the Skyscanner app, and I can explore everywhere. So I can choose where I'm coming from, and where I'm going to, and I want a one-way trip. So you might want a round trip, but mine will be generally one ways. So the option right now for travel... <laughs> any time so flights uh, round trip fifty seven dollars in the US all the way down to twenty dollars so my point here is that if, if you're a remote worker or somewhere without a, a, a if you're a traveler I think my real point here is that when you don't maintain a, a home when you don't maintain somewhere you, you're especially as a, a remote worker and and uh, you know I know a lot of IT guys who who can actually work from anywhere so let's just check out a, a real quick Huntsville Alabama to anywhere in the United States anytime so we can go to Orlando one way for twenty dollars we can go to Denver so say I want to go to Denver and that so August 22nd one way to Denver from Huntsville it's $34. And that's non-stop, three-hour and two-minute flight uh, on Frontier. Great airline. So you see the options below it, right? You see $604 um, <laughs> for a one-way non-stop flight. But I found one for, for $29.00. Uh, it leaves at 9.13 a.m. on Thursday, August 22nd, which is what? Yeah, so it's this coming Thursday. So if you can leave Thursday, you're in Denver three hours later for $29. Um, that's just one quick example. So these are cheap flights. You won't get to choose your seat. Well, you might. So let's check something a little more. Let's check something a little a little better. Puerto Rico's good, Canada's good, Jamaica, Cayman Islands. So I'm not going to be in the US. So where am I going to be? Um, let's try let's try Bangkok. It's Bangkok. To anywhere. Okay? So check this out. I can go to Thailand. From, well, so anywhere in Thailand. So let's leave Thailand and go somewhere else. So say I'm in Thailand, which I'm going to be spending a lot of time in. Myanmar, Vietnam, $31. Indonesia, China. So my point I'm trying to make here is that once you cross one of those massive oceans on either side of our massive country, things get a lot simpler, right? Right? So, if I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and I want to go to Sri Lanka, well, let's keep it simple. I live cheap, right? So, I want to go see those towers in Malaysia. Malaysia is incredibly cheap to, to go. Kuala Lumpur is somewhere that I want to go. So, say I'm in Bangkok today, and I want to go to... Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Well, here's a flight. Let's wait for it to load. So right now we're seeing a flight for $47. Okay. So the only deal I found here is for $47, $47, two hours, all right, 
and I can book that right now for $47. If there's any kind of travel that you guys want to know about, it, it, it is actually the, the problem Americans have traveling is we have a massive country. We live a long way from the nearest airport. We have a week or two vacation a year to to explore and you just you just simply can't do that as a so the, yeah so and and you can book hotels here too but I will be going to place. I mean, I'll be going to places where I need to book at least my first couple of nights to get my bearings in town. But I'll be going to places where there are other options. So it, let, let's 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 do round trips because it, it's not what I'm going to do. But let, let's do a round trip from say Bangkok to anywhere. So if I want to go from Bangkok round trip to Laos. Say I've got a basin. Say I've got a basin in Thailand. And Chiang Mai, Thailand is somewhere I wanna I wanna go. So yeah, okay, so there's a perfect example. So for $187 for three nights in a three-star hotel and a flight, and then food is just incredibly cheap in these places of the world if you're willing to eat like a local. If you want your if you want your Burger King and your McDonald's and your Starbucks and your Ruth's Chris and you know if if you need if you need you know use the word Western style, then you're gonna. I mean, you're still going to be fine, but you're going to be paying almost what you pay here. But when you're willing to eat for $2 a meal and eating like the locals, you can... So this is... So $167 for three days. It's just... and It's impossible to explain to... It's very hard to explain to people how far removed we are from the rest of the world and once you get closer how accessible it is so but i'll show you on the road and if there's any if there's any place that you've ever wanted to go let me know because i will literally go anywhere i'm i'm actually looking into a couple of places that, that americans don't normally tend to go so how about a round trip to Australia, right? So it's two grand easy from America to Australia. But once you get to Bangkok, Thailand, you can go to Perth for... $382 round trip? Ish. And this is just, well, there we go, $252 round trip. If the journey is what you seek, then you will live the best life you could ever imagine. If a destination is what you seek, then it's harder, but it's still doable. You just have to change the way you think about travel. When you can get down to one bag or maybe two, your options open literally to the world 